Hey guys, this is Hope from the Rhinestone World, and today I'm going to show you how to use our Caesar Holographic Heat Transfer Vinyl to customize the sides and the heel of a pair of Nikes. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do to this shoe is add our Crystal Holographic Vinyl to the outside. So we're going to add that right there to the swish. In order to get a nice good press on this, what we're going to do is take one of our older heat press pillows, stuff the shoe with it so we get a lot of pressure there, and then we're going to hold it up against the top thigh. Now of course they do make shoe presses and things like that, but it's a little bit easier to just use our plain press and go ahead and push it up against the top. So I'm going to go ahead and stuff this shoe, so we're just going to take our pillow and roll it up. Tuck the laces inside just so you know that they're not hanging out. And there we go. So we want to kind of focus all the area of the pillow right where the swish is going to be. We want to make sure that we have a nice flat pressing area. So again, we get a nice even press in there. The next thing we're going to do is take our swish and we're going to use our magic heat tape to tape this down so that we are sure that it's going to be a nice even press. And it's not going to slide any as we're pressing. So I'm going to take some of our heat tape here. And this heat tape is, I mean, it's super important. So don't try to save it. Use as much as you need because it's better to use a lot of heat tape here than to do a bad press and have your design slide at all. Especially with something like a shoe that has all sorts of contours on it. So I'm going to use all the tape I need here. And one more thing I do want to note for you guys if you are concerned at all. We did pay for the Nike shoe, so if you do buy a shoe from a company and it already has the logo on it, you are able to edit that logo. What you're not allowed to do is add a logo to anything you didn't buy. So you can't just buy a dollar store brand shoe and add a Nike Swish to it. But if you did buy the Nike shoe, you are able to go ahead and change it however you'd like. Alright, so that seems like an excessive amount of tape, but we are going to definitely be sure now that this is not going to move while we press it. So I'm going to get this out of the way here. And now all we're going to do is hold this shoe against the top button. And normally we do about a 10 to 15 second press. With this, I'm going to go a little bit longer. Again, because we're going to have to sort of rotate it to get the contours of the shoe and everything. All right, so once we're all done pressing, all we need to do is pull up our transfer tape here. And you can see that we have our Nike Swish all done. So now we're going to add some decorations to the back of the heel. All right, so now that we have the sides pressed, now we're going to add a little bit of decoration to the heel. So what I did was I took some of our holographic vinyl, and because they're wedding shoes, we have I do, and then we have the date of the wedding here. So all we're going to do is take our purple layer first, our little offset here, and we're going to put that on first, and then we're going to add the crystal holographic vinyl. So again, we got plenty of stuffing in this shoe. What we did was kind of try to flatten out the roundness of the heel so that way we could do it in just about one nice press. Also, we know that we're going to be able to center it a little bit better. So I have my heat tape and my transfer here, and I'm just going to stick it onto the back. There we go. And again, this should be a pretty quick press. We don't want to overpress this because it is just our Caesar Easy Weed. Uh, and it can shrink a little bit if we press it too much. So I'm just going to stick that on the back of the press there. And that should stick pretty quickly. All right, so I'm going to peel this up and just see if we have a good stick on there. All right, perfect. So we have our ID on there. And we're just going to top that in our crystal holographic heat transfer vinyl. And again, we're going to use plenty of heat tape just to make sure we get a good stick there. And now, again, we're going to put it on our press and get a nice 5 to 10 second press on there. All right, there we go. That's all set there. So now we can move on to our other heel. Okay, so now that we have the side of our shoe done, now we're going to do the heel. So I have the wedding date here. What I did was, of course, stuff the shoe again, used our heat tape to center this design right there on the back, 
and we're going to do our press again. So again, normally for easy weed, we do about a 10 to 15 second press. This shouldn't take too long because we just want to get our first layer on there and we're going to do a two layer press. So once we see that it's kind of starting to stick on there, we can peel up our heat tape. And do one last quick press on there just to make sure it's going to stick. All right, perfect. So we, now we have one side done. We just need to do our second layer. All right, so we're all done. It was a quick four presses, and we have an awesome pair of customized shoes and an excuse for me not to wear heels the whole wedding.